ready to get active. Hi guys, it's Agatha. Welcome to CSSP Active TV, episode 10. I'm here too. It's me, Mr. Doug. It's so good to see everyone. <laughs> As you can tell, we are back to practicing our ball skills today. Now, by the way, how tricky was yesterday's game? <laughs> did you find it challenging? Now, I found it so hard. Now, which part did you find the most difficult? For me, it was definitely the throw with the spin. Gosh, it was so exciting, but I still need to practice. Which one did you find the hardest? <laughs> one hand to one hand, okay, I don't blame you for that. Well, okay, so uh, I hope you managed to practice all seven skills from the game yesterday. I also hope you managed to come up with some of your own throws, the ones we haven't actually demonstrated. But we are back to more practice today. Mr. Doug, what have you got for us today? Okay, so today we're going to be performing an underarm throw. Now, an underarm throw is used in games such as butcher, rounders, baseball, and bowling. An underarm throw is also easier to be accurate compared to an overarm throw. It's also easy to catch because you can see the path of the ball coming along, coming at you that much better. Good. So, today, we're going to be looking for boys and girls who are able to control their body whilst they are throwing. We're also going to be looking for boys and girls who can aim at different distances. So I want you to be able to aim whether it is a close target or it is a target that's further away from you. Okay? Now the third thing we're going to be looking for are boys and girls that are able to put these throws or aiming into practice into real situations, for example, when you're playing botcher, rounders, baseball, or you're bowling. Okay, so let's go over to Agatha as she warms us up for our main activities. Agatha? Guys, I've got a great warm up for us today. It's called Mr. Men and Little Miss. Okay, I'm sure you know those books, they are so funny. Now my favorite one is probably Little Miss Sunshine. Which one is yours? Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to pretend we are those characters today, okay? I'm so hot already, I've taken my layer off, okay? I am so ready to go. So, you are going to be using your body action and different ways of traveling to show me how would you move if you were a character, I'm going to say. So ready, how would you move if you were Mr. Slow? Oh, I like some of those slow movements by people already. Oh, really slow movements, really slow sidestepping from someone, very nice. Other way as well, that is fantastic. Really good, slow running on the spot, so going there, fantastic. Really, really good, slow motion jogging around. Not a bad idea, very good. How would you move if you were little Miss Quick? Ooh, fast on your feet this time, really fast on the spot or on the go, really fast. Make sure you really improve that pace, come on. Keep going, keep going, different directions. Really nice, really quick on your feet. Fantastic actions there. I love some people are using their arms as well. Very nice, keep it going. Keep changing those directions. Yes, fantastic. And back to Mr. Slow. Mr. Slow. Oh, he's really slow. Really nice traveling, nice and slowly. Mr. Slow. Oh, he's so slow. Really nice, fantastic. How would you move if you were Little Miss? Tiny, tiny on the floor. Okay, try to travel in that tiny position. Make it on the hands. Keep that body shape nice and small. Really nice. What else you can do? I could see people hopping on the spot, like bunny hops. Really nice. What else could you do? Keep moving, keep traveling. Little Miss Tiny. Really nice, okay. How would you move if you were Little Miss Sunshine? Ha! Ah, I can see happy faces. People hopping, jumping, skipping. 
Okay, use your arms if you can. Really good. Okay, keep going. Really comfy faces as well. Use your facial expression. Happy movement. Bouncing around, moving around. Really nice. Speaking about bouncing, Mr. Bouncy. Ha! Really good, okay. Jumping, jumping, bouncing, bouncing like a ball, however you like, okay. Jumping, show me those actions. Really nice. That is fantastic. Really good. Really good. Very nice. Okay, how would you move if you were Mr. Tall? Ah, I like those tall shapes. Nice and straight on your tiptoes as well if you want to. Really good. I like someone who's nice and tall and actually taking one foot off the floor to really challenge your balance. Really nice. Someone's showing me Mr. Tall on the floor, lying nicely on the floor, stretching the body. Not bad at all. Very nice. Really elongate yourself. Fantastic. Very nice, okay. And Mr. Oh, that's good idea. Give me some ideas. Give me some ideas. Mr. Tickle. I love it, okay. So Mr. Tickle, probably move your arms in funny ways. Now your arms will be using them your shoulders a lot today. Okay, make sure you hold them up properly. Up and down. Funny movements to the side. Very nice. Move your shoulders. Fantastic. I love that, Mr. Tickle. Oh, really good. Okay, now. Such a wonderful performance this morning, Mr. Doug. We are ready for you. Hello. So today's skill acquisition activity is going to be called swing, step, throw. We're going to need for this activity, we're going to need some targets. I'm using some socks. I'm going to arrange them into a flower shape. You can use toilet tissue or whatever soft object that you have at home. And you can use a ball. If not, you can use a bean bag. And we're going to have an area marked out that we're going to be standing behind so we can aim for the target. I have here my resistance band. So you can use anything, like a towel that you would want to use. Now, as I said, we're going to be swinging, stepping, and releasing. Okay, all right, now look, that time, go again, aim again. And I want to be pointing my legs, bending my knees as I'm, as I'm throwing as well. So swing, bend knees, step, and release. Okay, good, I got the first one. Now I'm gonna rush, get those subjects back, and go again. Okay, swing, step with bent knees, and throw. Good, I got the right one. Good, hurrying back, continue on until I'm done. Swing, step, bent knees, and throw. Good, and you can keep on going. Swing, step, and throw. Good stuff. I got one more to go. Swing, step, and throw. Good. Okay, well done, little people. Now, if you need to, you can pause the video here and keep on practicing. When you're ready, just continue on with Agatha in the main activities in the game. Okay, so take your time, if need to, pause, practice up, and when you're ready, continue on with Agatha. Hey everyone, your throwing skills were rather impressive so far, so we're definitely moving on to our game. Now, yesterday I told you that for today's game, you will need at least one ball and a target. Now, since then, actually, I found an even better way of playing this game, okay? So you might have to go and find some more pieces of equipment. So if you do, go and pause this video, but I promise, it will be worth it, okay? So what you will need is you will need at least one ball. Your soft ball is perfect. Or if you've got more balls, three or four, even better, okay? And you want to build yourself four different towers. So what I've got here is I've got paper uh, roll and then I've got kitchen towel uh, tower. I've got some carton boxes. I've got my slippers. I've got some clothes I happen to have at home, okay? And then what you need to do once you've got your four towers, you will go back and find yourself a place, okay, where you will be throwing 
from. So the aim of this game is to use your ball, use your underarm throwing in order to knock over all those towers. Now, as we said, the game is called Tick Tock Toss, okay? So let's practice that Tick Tock action first, okay? If you're right-handed, do it with your right hand. If you're left-handed, do it with your left, okay? So Tick Tock is Tick is with your feet, uh, kind of as wide as your hips, okay? Starting with your arm forward. Tick, tock, toss, okay? Once again, tick is forward, tock is backwards, toss is forwards again, once again. Tick, tock, toss, and again. Tick, tock, toss. Other side if you're left-handed, but the same. Forward, backwards, pull. Tick, tock, toss. Tick, tock, toss, fantastic. And now, when I say toss, I also want to step. So if I'm using my right hand, it's an opposite foot, okay? So toss is just step forward. Toss is just step forward, okay? Try again, just step forward. And now I go without my feet. Tick, tock, toss. Put the hands together once again. Tick, tock, toss once again. Tick, tock, toss. And this other hand, if I'm using my left hand to throw, using your right foot to step. So we go tick, tock and toss. And one more time, tick, tock and toss. You got it, okay? So now, moving on to the line where you'll be throwing from, okay? Can I do tick, tock, toss and then knock my towers? Ooh, wish me luck. Practice with me as well, okay? Remember, so, forward, backward, toss, Oh, I missed it! I need to get better. Lucky I've got more balls, so I don't need to go and pick it up. If you're playing it with one ball on the run, pick it up, do it again. So, tick, top, toss. Oh, okay, one more. You can hear what's going on in my kitchen, okay? Another one. Tick, top, toss. Yes! Okay, <laughs> let's try this one. Ooh, tick, top, toss. Remember to celebrate your success, okay? Make sure you're really, really appreciating what you've managed to achieve. Okay, one more. Oh, can I do this? Tick, tock, toss. Oh, this stage, one more. Ready? Tick, tock, toss. Yes, okay, I might try once again with my slippers because mine is still standing. Tick, tock, toss. It's hard, one more. Ready, tick, tock, toss, ah, oh, nearly. Okay, guys, just a few learning points. Remember what Mr. Doug has just taught in the skill section. Eyes on the target, okay? Did he mention anything about the hand? So your throwing hand, it should be facing upwards when you are tossing your ball. Really nice, remember to bend those knees, okay? Rebuild your towers. Show me this game again, come on. I'm loving the variety of towers there. Look at that. I can see some tins. I can see toilet roll. <laughs> I can see boxes. I can see toys. So much going on. I can see some cones there. Well done, okay? Fantastic action. Really good, okay? Take it slowly. Do not rush it. Remember, today is about looking at distance, at the speed of your ball, at the precision really really nice concentrate on how hard or how light you need to pass that ball really nice excellent practice now i wonder if mr doug has also managed to start playing that game let's have a look oh i'm sorry agatha i didn't hear you i'm not finding it so easy to be able to aim at the different distances because I'm finding that I have to make an adjustment depending on how far the objects are from me, how far my towers are from me. Um, do you have any tips that can help me or suggestions that can help me with aiming and how to aim when it's further or closer? Now, can I give you some ideas of how to make it easier or harder? Of course I can. I might use those ideas myself. So, if you are struggling with knocking over your towers, what you can do is have a look. You don't necessarily need them in one line. You can bring some of them closer to you, to yourself, some of them further away, okay? And then try and make those closer first before you move on to the ones 
further away. What else you could do? Well, probably if you've got more than one ball, you can use different sizes of ball. Which one do you think is easier? Smaller ball or a, or a larger ball? Which one makes it easier to knock over your tower? Ha -ha! Of course, the bigger ball should be easier. Okay, so that's another idea. If you're thinking, actually, I'm doing really well, I want to challenge myself even more, what you could do is you could time yourself. So how many towers can you knock over within one minute? Try all four. If you knock them down, then go and rebuild them. Okay? If you're struggling, try without the time challenge first. And then when you get confidence, add yourself that time limit as well. Okay? Choose which one of these you want to practice and let's get going. Oh, I need to remember that TikTok toss action. Cool, good luck everyone. Really focus on precision. Remember, eyes on the target. <laughs> it seems to be working to me so far. I'm loving your practice as well. Ooh, ooh, forgotten that action. Nearly. I need to concentrate even more. This one, three bananas. <laughs> I was really lucky. Good practice, everyone. Keep going, okay? Very nice. If you're confident, make sure you get yourself, uh, give yourself that one minute limit. How many towers can you knock down? Remember, you can also use your math skills, okay? So, can you give yourself one point for each item you've knocked down? If you've got a tower of four, how many points would that be? Of course, four. Well done, okay? Can you calculate those points? You can calculate them in your head or you can bring a piece of paper and a pen and calculate, it, and calculate them on the piece of paper. Now, good luck. Keep practicing. Very, very nice. I can see some of you will be spending their whole evening playing that game i do not blame you remember also you can play against your parents against your grandparents against your siblings maybe even virtual competition against your friends why not okay keep going keep practicing well done <laughs> if you've had enough for now let's join mr doug a bit of <sighs> cool down okay so today's cool down is called runaway train Okay, are you ready boys and girls? Alrighty, so let's hop on. Okay, so let's climb on board. I'm gonna blow the horn. Here we go. Rally train is going, going pretty fast, and then it's going pretty slow. It's going pretty slow as we climb up the big hill and as we're coming down into the valley, it's going a bit faster. Good. As you can see the meadows. Wow, look at the nice lush green meadows up there. Good stuff. All of a sudden, the train stops. Oh, I wonder what happened. Okay. You know what? We're good mechanics, so we're going to try to solve this problem. Okay, let's clean the, look at the wheels in the front. Okay, let's check those wheels in the front here, down by our toes. Okay, oh, there are some loose wheels. Let's tighten those up. What our spanner? Ah, okay. And over to the right here, there seems to be some more loose wheels. So we're gonna reach over and tighten those wheels up. Okay, good stuff, boys and girls. And over to our left. There are some more wheels that are loose. So we're gonna reach over to our left and tighten those wheels up. Good. You know what I've realized, boys and girls, as we're tightening up and playing and being good mechanics, we're also getting some stretching done. Oh, two for the price of one. And we have wheels behind us being tightening too. And we're all stretched out. Good stuff, boys and girls. All right, so let's just stand up. We give a nice shake out like a jellyfish. Good stuff. Let's see how Agatha 
the Tyke engine is getting on with her stretch. this cool down a lot but I don't think I managed to repair my train sorry <laughs> hey Mr. Doug we have covered so much today I think we did Agatha but let's check were you able to have good body position while you were throwing using the underhand throw okay that's great were you able to aim at different distances. Did you have success with that? Were you able to control your throw? Fantastic, good job. And were you able to use your throw or improve your throwing as you were practicing? Fantastic, give yourselves a big round of applause if you're able to get all three right. Even if you're able to get one right, you can still give yourself a round of applause. Good stuff, boys and girls. Total coolness. And remember, what you can do is to continue to practice a little bit later in the day to improve from one to two and from two to three. Good stuff. Okay, so continue to practice your aiming throughout the day. Now, tomorrow we are going to have a recap where we are going to be working on the techniques that we need to be successful, okay? So, for tomorrow's lesson, we're going to need some objects we can use as targets, and we're going to need a softball or a sock ball that we can use to throw. It was a great session today, boys and girls. Until next time, keep active.